Good morning, good afternoon, and good day to you all. My name is David Astor, and I am a solution architect with GitLab. So today, I want to talk to you about really protecting yourself from the dangers in the world. Being diligent and understanding your surroundings is extremely important. If you'll indulge me for a moment and got a quick story, I actually I actually have a 13-year-old uh, heading to high school next year, and as a father, I'm really be- excited and terrified at the same time. Um, so one of the lessons that we have always taught my daughter is to not be afraid, but rather be aware. So being aware of your environment really acts as a layer of protection for you. you know, having knowledge up front, it vastly improves how you can deal with a situation. It really provides a sense of security for you. That's all well and good, right? And that's extremely important in, in the real world, right? And that in no way, though, diminishes the awareness that you need in the virtual world. If anything, you probably need to be more even hyper aware of what's going on. Because in the world of bits and bytes, let's face it, there are people that want to harm you, right? There, we, we've all seen news stories, too many news stories about credit cards, uh, banks, even our favorite retailers having their networks breached uh, and data exposed. Now, this is extremely costly, of course, not only for those uh, organizations, right? But also for the consumers, also for the, the, uh, for the, for, for the individuals whose, whose information is taken from them. And this is all happening, and it's often, the scary part is that it's not even discovered sometimes until months after it actually happened. So when developing software, just like in real life, it really pays to have that knowledge up front. Knowing what you're getting into before you actually release code can really be the difference between two vastly different headlines for your company in the news. So let's talk about how GitLab can help with that. So GitLab is, as you can see here, it's a single application for the uh, complete SDLC process. Uh, We can do everything from your initial planning of your work all the way until uh, uh, delivering it, uh, releasing it, and of course, uh, uh, monitoring that work once it's out there. Um, But when you talk about what GitLab can do, GitLab is really firm believers and, and practitioners of the entire shift left movement. We want to arm your teams with information about security vulnerabilities and test results as soon as possible. So for instance, if uh, you look at maybe the, uh, we're, we're a stage here um, where we're committing some code. So let's say we're at that create area where we're committing some code in. Um, we want to make sure that before anything gets moved on to the later stages of your SDLC, that you have all that information up front, that we have given you test results, we've given you any kind of vulnerability results um, to you, so again, you're aware of what's about to happen. So an example again, when you are committing code into a repository and you have our auto DevOps feature enabled, you can get all of these security scanning tools working for you right away. You're gonna get auto static application testing, so you can test your compiled code there. If you're using a, a Kubernetes with containers, you're gonna get container scanning for vulnerabilities. Uh, You also want to check for dependencies to make sure that everything's where it's supposed to be and even make sure you're in compliance with license management. Uh, That can be very costly if you're not. And then, of course, dynamic application testing is going to be run as well. Part of what GitLab brings to the table is in its single application is that it allows you to create an ephemeral or throwaway containerized environment with your change that you just made. And all of the the commit that you just made in there and all the information about that is going to be uh, run against that containerized uh, environment. So the results of all those scans are reported right back into a merge request. And the merge request is really that central location where all members of the team can consume information. If vulnerabilities are detected in the code, or if a dependency has a vulnerability, or even in the running application itself, we've got now one single place where we can review this information. The value there is that I don't need to wait for another part of my organization to spin up or create an environment for me and and then run some expensive code scanning tool, which is going to charge me by the line and then get the results pushed to another application and then come back and do it all over again by making those changes. So I'm saving time and friction by having it all in one place. 
I'm also getting the knowledge on how to resolve these items. You'll notice here at the bottom, I've got uh, um, five vulnerabilities uh, that have been detected. So opening up any of those links gives me information about that CVE. It lets me know where it is. It lets me know the solution to how to resolve that. And you'll also see I have the ability to do things like dismiss this vulnerability. Um, that point being is that if we know it's something that we're, we're okay with, it's being pushed out, we can dismiss that. Again, the whole idea is to really just bring awareness to you. I want you to know this, or we want you to know this before you actually get everything out into production or some other environment where it becomes a lot more expensive to fix afterwards. So what powers all this are the various tools that you see here on this page. Our vulnerability scanning tools and the supported languages are listed here. So we've got support for the most common languages and there's more and more being added every month, but you can see that and these are the tools they use to do so. We're using things like Claire for container scanning. We're using the OWASP ZAP a proxy for our, our dynamic application testing. And we're using the power of Gymnasium, which is now actually part of GitLab uh, to do our dependency scanning. So these are uh, open source libraries that are constantly updated by the community with the latest and greatest information for us. Now our entire goal really with this is to make sure that you are aware of your surroundings as I mentioned earlier. Having as much information up front and uh, really being as best armed with how to resolve the situation. So if we can do anything and, and help keep you out of the, uh, the news for negative headlines, then that's really going to be a win for everybody. So I really appreciate you taking some time to listen to what I had to say about our security. And if you have any other questions about, uh, about GitLab or what it can provide, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. So thank you again very much. Go forth and be bold, everyone.